we wish him all the best. No doubt he'll be tuned in to watch these big heats unfolding because back to back we've had some of the, the all time greats out there in the lineup. Kelly Slater winning through in that last heat. And now we can look forward to a, a man that's established himself as the surfer to beat here at Mainbreak over the years as an injury replacement surfer. But during the break, we had this one for John John Florence. We expect excellence from him, Rich, and he's delivered once again. <laughs> Have a go at it, will you? Look, this is just uh, picking up right where he left off, and this is uh, John's happy place right now. The right hand is a Margaret River main break, just exploding with power, destroying the limp, and uh, just tags this thing and all the way through to an excellent score, an 8.83. What a way to start. The next closest surfer with 15 excellent waves is Geordie Smith. So he is far and away the favourite when we get here to main break each season for good reason. The two-time winner who also collected a victory in this contest as a QS. You know, he did have to withdraw from the event uh, due to an injury in the quarterfinals a couple of years back. Um, it, it's amazing to me that he, he can so consistently put those big scores up and it's going to take something special to beat him Seth's sort of building towards a, a big finish this year he's been doing some good surfing uh, this will just be a, a low scoring start for him you know, he should just be looking to just dump some good scores you know, John John's obviously going to put in an incredible performance, here he goes again Big swoop to get started. Just wraps that board right back into the bowl and then just unleashes on that second section. He's on his way to another excellent score here. They've been able to construct a board that just works so perfectly for him and these style of waves. The first wrap was intense. The second one was radical. It was different to anything we've seen today. Look at the clean wrap, and he's got that little pivot right at the end, which is quite unique to John. Uh, he gets a little little uh, tweaky off the lip here, but it's in a good way, in a fun way. And, uh, you know, just that little tweak there at the end of the wrap, it's something special. And watch this one. Gets it right up on the lip, kind of rides the coping for a little while there, has to just maintain control, pressures down on the tail of the board, and then uh, rides into this next turn. So uh, there was definitely more variety on that wave for me, Ron, and it might even go higher. Unbelievable combination there on the outside section, and he might have just... Uh... Like, uh, that's what we want to feel, huh? Fully connected to the board, waving himself. Here we go, we've got Carlos looking pretty sharp when he gets there. Ooh, he's really laying into that heel turn, huh? Wow, he's got some power, Carlos. You could probably speak to this more than uh, anyone else. We're going to another rider up. I'm just going to uh, talk through this way first. Seth is looking for answers here. There's a great start for him. He had a 4.33 on that first wave. Just rides a little high on the lip. Mm. We were touching on uh, John Johns. Man, what an amazing final day that would be to watch John John right in the thick of it. Here he goes again. Um, yeah, he's... Like you, you were mentioning, uh, Richie, about, you know, John Poizel and the relationship between surfer shaper when those incredible performance on the right at margaret river a few years back on the ghost and that design sort of carrying through uh you know has given so many surfers joy around the planet <laughs> i know that that's for sure and so john john looks like there's a little bit of action here with with set oh, nice little hit at the end there funny i can imagine uh, hearing john john's scores for those for those guys out there and the surfers are answering some of the ocean's power with some big power turns of their own. Florence up again. He's had a couple of falls, but he's, you know, pushing it for good reason. He's established a really solid lead here already. And he's just uh, having fun, as Tom Carroll pointed out earlier on. Throws the reverse on the end section there. Not complete, but uh, we'll probably just bank a, another throwaway score here. He's having a lot of fun at the moment. Also having plenty of fun. That's right, Kelly. Fantastic start. Yeah, it felt good. It felt it felt nice. I went out for. I got here late two nights ago, so yesterday morning early, and and I uh, surfed yesterday for a couple hours. And it was actually probably the worst thing you could do for yourself is surf when it's on shore from the north, and it's just choppy, and everyone out there was frustrated. But I I sort of hung out there for about three hours and just tried to find a way. A great performance, uh, Tom. You you saw Kelly coming through the ranks, competed with him on tour for uh, a number of years. What did you make of his first round effort? 
Like, uh, you know, um, it looks like there's a lot of joy in his surfing again. He, like, he, like that surfboard definitely was like he said, it was just a fortunate moment, you know, snapping his, the board that he was glued to in his head. So now he's snapped back out of that and he's feeling it. Uh, and when Kelly starts feeling it, you can see how beautiful his surfing is and, and it looked timeless. It's those big critical sections, the, the opening section in particular, and then that, oh, man. Really uh, dry rock inside hunk of water as John John Florence just continues to impress here. Taking to the sky, stopping that air, just flexing his... To be a winning move, but let's go back to John John's wave. This first turn just has so much power and energy into it. And then John goes right over. Here's the section, something new. Take flight, gets the grab rail straight air. And then a, uh, a little cutback to start off. Let's get the bird's eye view of it. You can see the section looming here. John picks his point, puts point, takes flight, gets the landing. It wasn't an easy landing either. That was out on the flat. So uh, always difficult when you're not landing on that whitewash. But just look at the power. Just hammering on the tail of his board there. And uh, just always in complete control. You saw the stance wide, and that means take flight. The feet actually come off the board. He did well to uh, actually slam him back down. And you can tell he's almost kind of in cruise mode as Carlos now looks to chase down that second position. Looking for a solid finish here. Nice oh. big tail drop float. Sticks it nicely. So he was after a 5.11 and... You know, might have made his move at the perfect time here. Perhaps take the first wave like John's been getting, the cleaner ones, but let's have a look at the replay from Carlos. So a good snap to start things off. Uh, a bit of a sleepy cutback on the second, gets hung up a little bit, but this final projection floater was nice. And uh, and then he cuts it. And the next surfer on the stats list to, with excellent heats is Jack Robinson with five. Oh, really? That's how far wow. ahead John John Florence is here. Uh, he's so dominant. Here goes Carlos, so he's still after the 5.11, having only turned in a 4.17 on his last ride. Has to drive down the line, the section stands up at the end here, he gets wow. the rotation. Minute and a half to go, is he going to turn it here? He snatched that wave from under the priority of Seth. Uh, because look at that wave that Carlos took. No, 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 not at all. But look, Carlos, for me, see how he's keeping the board fairly horizontal through the track here. You know, when, when you watch just the, the pathway of the board, everything's sort of down the line. He needed this part here. Once he did that, well, decision time now for Seth. Well, he has to surf it like he needs a score here. It's a good size wave, so much bigger than what we saw Carlos on. And he goes wow. on the attack on the first section. And he might have already eclipsed what Carlos was able to do with that first turn. That was huge. And now he loads up for more on the inside, and he stops the finish. That was clutch. Wow. I mean, not knowing if he needs a score and turning in a first move like that is super impressive. That is incredible stuff from Seth Moniz. But Seth, on a bigger, better, cleaner wave, attacks this first section. Crazy high high risk air rotation. And uh, gets a, a sleepy little cut back here. A little bit untidy, but then gets a powerful finish. So, bookended. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I just, you know, in, in those situations, the surf with priority. And that Seth answered back with a mid-range six. And that was enough to get him that second spot and a place in the round of 32. That ride from Seth Manis, I feel, may be a turning point for his whole year. That was incredible. He'll take a whole lot of confidence out of that.